Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I am here today with my jewel in my project pan, the jewel in my crown project pan update. We have one month left of this. I did hit my goal on another item since last month. I hit my goal on the Blink Electric Eyes palette in the deep maroony cranberry shade Autuni. And this month I hit my goal in one of my Vice Two shadows. I managed to hit pan in madness. Just a little bit of pan. I actually hit it while I was lining my lower lash line. You guys have been complimenting my makeup a lot lately. I've been wearing madness all over my lid and on my lower lash line. And thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. So I hit that on the 20th of November and I was so grateful because I really love that color. I was a little tired of wearing it every day. I'm also working on X-rated. I don't know how well you can see. I do have a dip in there. I do use this on my inner corner every day. Like it's basically just been my inner corner highlight. I don't know if I'll hit pan by the end of this because we only have a month left, but I will definitely have like a good divot in there and that that's good. This might be one of the things I pan next year because it's, it's getting on up there in years. If I do decide to pan it, um, I'm probably only gonna pan one of the three black shades in it because I, I can't pan three black shades in a in one palette. I, I just can't. No. First, now we have my Maybelline Pomegranate Punk Tattoo. My goal was to get decent pan, and I haven't quite gotten there yet. I kind of want to clear out this area up here. And I just haven't really been wearing it, so naughty me, I know, but. I've been focusing on other eyeshadow looks since I finished the blue one. I did want to flatten the tip of this. I haven't quite gotten there yet, but it's getting flatter. Flatter. So just maybe a couple of more wears and I think I will hit my goal on the Fantasy Makers lipstick. This is in the shade Deep Purple. These come out around Halloween. But they are pretty nice lipsticks if you're looking for, you know, more alternative colors. Let's see. And this sucker right here. Technically, I wanted to finish it. I have not touched it the entire time. And I finally realized why. Uh, as beautiful as this color is, it's not exactly something I wear on my upper lash line. Just realizing it. I would wear this on top of like maybe a gold eyeshadow and I'm not panning a gold eyeshadow right now. And uh, I can't put these on my lower lash line. Like I stab myself in the eye with these if I put it on my lower lash line. Just because it is a felt tip liner, I'm just not very good with felt tip liners on the lower lash line. So I'm not gonna declutter this because it's still good and I really like the color. But uh, it, it didn't work out for this project. <laughs> Just not, I'm not panning something right now that would go with this very well. If I'm panning a gold eyeshadow, like say if I pan this next year, if I was panning Strike right here, I think that would be really pretty as like a double eyeliner on the top lash line, like a black and then that on top of it. That's how I would wear that. It would go really pretty with Shell Shock too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that silver in there. There's a couple of shades in here that I think it would work out pretty well with, but just not what I'm wearing right now. So I think that was a little bit of a mistake to pick this, but it's nothing against the eyeliner. It's just what I'm going through right now and how I can actually use felt tip eyeliners. If you guys are good at using felt tip eyeliners on your lower lash line, give me some hints. Maybe I can figure it out if I figure out like the right trick for it. Because this is, a, like I said, this is a really gorgeous color. I'd love to use it more often. I got it in a giveaway. So, yeah. That is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.